this was going to be a very public thing. So it was the beginning of humiliation and it was the beginning of breaking my spirit. Returning to her hotel after the last World Cup race before the Olympic competitions, Penny received the final blow. When I got back to the hotel, I found out I was named an alternate and off the team. Being removed from the Olympic team was the worst thing that ever happened to her in her life up to that point because it was so political. The Olympic Committee heard about it. They called my dad, told my dad they would reinstate me. He would just have to say the word. So my dad came to me and told me that, and I said, I can't do it because my heart has been broken, and I can't do it. I can't perform with a broken heart. She felt she let her dad down. She let Bishop down. She let her team down in her country, and it, it ruined her life. When I won the World Championship medal in Sports Illustrated, the, the, he, the heading was found, a pretty penny. And now I'm going, wow, from a pretty penny, now I'm the ugly duckling. And that's how I operated from, you know, from that time out, I operated from the ugly duckling, and I really felt I was. She was not penny anymore. I felt like a total loser. And I went out of ski racing, feel like a loser, and I was third in the world. Thought she could never do anything right, and she let everybody down, and it really was a burden on her. Sports Illustrated proved that the press still holds a fondness for Penny when they ran an article featuring the best women in sports through the decades. And they chose me to be in the 50-year-old decade. Man, I'm over 50. <laughs> anyway, they chose me because of the, the mountain bike race. I was in the World Championship mountain bike race and was second. Of course, there's more than just athletics in Penny's life. For instance. Taking care of grandchildren, enjoying grandchildren, and writing music, and writing books, speaking, enjoying a certain amount of freedom that I've never had, and enjoying the possibilities of what lies ahead of me. Penny is successful in her life because she believes in herself. I believe she's been successful because she's remained true to who God created her to be. Not what circumstances say she is. Not what people have said or thought. I have such a sense of gain of being a pure mother before my children and dealing with everything that is off course in my life so it doesn't pass down to them. For Penny's present success, after all she's gone through, I do 100% think it's her faith. I feel so successful because I have not let the challenges defeat me, but I've used them to make me stronger and better and more compassionate to those that are walking in my steps. She loves people unconditionally, whether you have a dime in your pocket or if you're a billionaire. She'll love you the same way. She'll respect you the same way. Ultimately, I'm becoming what God created me to become and do what he's created me to do. And in that itself is the ultimate success.